Hey, here we go. <clears throat> All right. It's 11 o'clock, 11.02, actually. And we're going to go over just a few things. I want to talk about uh, the just how to port, use a portrait and just edit it. Once you get a, you know, once you take a great photo, just how you can edit that portrait and make it nice and smooth. I'm going to do a screenshot or a screen serve, and you're going to see how just exactly how you know, I do it. Uh, there's many ways of doing things. Uh, there's many software out there as far as um, like Photoshop and uh, Lightroom and stuff like that. I choose to use what's called PicMonkey. It's an online service. And basically that um, just, it's just easy for me to use. It's not real complicated. And it's just a service you pay for you know, every, like I just say, I think once a month, or I think you can pay for a year or two uh, also. And, and it's just easy for me to use because when I'm editing, I'm really just looking at uh, just trying to really just touch up the face, maybe push the contrast a little bit, uh, just to see where, you know, I can get a better, clearer and sharper image. I try not, I don't really do a lot of um, photo manipulating. If I have to, uh, then I'm like, ah, you know, I, something's wrong or I did, you know, didn't do something right at all when I was taking a photo. And I'm not trying to re, you know, cr do creative, super creative stuff. And that's great. If you're, that's the person you are and you do all kinds of creative things with your uh, images, that's wonderful. But for me, I just um, want to just get the face clean, maybe um, I guess I push the contrast a little bit, maybe lighten it up or darken in certain areas. And that's all I want to do. And yeah, so I wanted to go back in like the history of photography and um, let's see if I have this image. Well, before when I started, it was a dark room. And, and with the dark room, we um, had the enlarger. And with the enlarger, you had to um, have your negative. And what you did, we put your negative inside the um, slot. And when the enlarger has a lamp that would show the light through the negative, and then you could see your image in upside down uh, on the paper that you're about to um, use to get to capture the image, to print the image on it. So back then you had to really just, um, let me see if I can find this picture real quick. Uh, let me just pull it up and let's see. I guess, let me share screen real quick. Here it is. So, Let's see, let me see, enlarge that really quick. This is a small image, it's a real small image. I don't think I can do much with that image. But anyway, you can see this is the enlarger right here. Like I said, that's where your, uh, you will put your um, film and you will slide into a slot right there and the light would beam through and come down, your image would be right here. So back then to smooth out your image, it's like especially if it was a portrait, there were several different things you could do. You could do what's called um, burning and dodging. And basically burning and dodging was where uh, when you're looking at the image, uh, there was areas in your negative that were darker. Okay, so you wanted to burn, the light to burn through those darker areas because you want the details. So if there was a dark area in your, in your negative, that means there was a lot more detail, a lot of detail in that negative, in that image. So you want the light to burn through that. And so you can capture all the light, but then all, all the image. But there's also areas in the negative, and like I said, it's just a negative black and white that are thin or translucent. And you really wanted to um, didn't want to have too much light go through that. So you would basically do what was called dodging and burning. So you would just dodge one area where the light, you didn't want the light too much. And then you allow the light to come through the other area, which would be burning through that. So it would burn, you know, would kind of just get the detail and the light and, and the image. And you wouldn't get uh, too much of the um, light going through this translucent side of, of the image. So it was kind of tricky, but you had to, you know, kind of be dodging and letting it burn. And you, it was, it was, it was a, definitely a task to do um, with your images. But, you know, that was what, what editing was back then. Also to do like say the smooth faces out, you would um yeah, maybe take a piece of cellophane and um just put it over the uh, lamp that was coming through. So you put the you had the image, you 
you have your lamp, you put the cellophane over the the um, the lens, and that would disperse the light, which would create a smooth surface. So, like the light would just branch out, so it wouldn't be so sharp and harsh. And that was again another trick that you know you could do. And some people would even do that. Uh, there's been times I would do that even when I was taking photos, especially of other people. Uh, I would just put something over my lens just so the light would be dispersed and it would be smoothed out a little bit. So basically, right, I'm not going to keep you too much, but I want to just go quickly into uh, how I edit uh, just to clean up the image. Because one of the things that you do, you know, or let's say don't want to do really is to overdo your um editing. You really want to keep the image looking as um, normal or as much as that person as possible. Uh, like I said, there are people out there who just do, you know, there's AI now that's totally, you know, taking over the game and, you know, and creating, you know, these flawless images. And, and again, I'm not knocking any of that. That's cool. Um, but for, you know, the regular portrait for photographer, you just want to smooth the images out. You know, I've, I'm, I've got, in fact, I remember a story where um, I was uh, I'm part of another group, a business group, and uh, a, a person had posted their photo and, you know, she had said that uh, she went to a photographer and she was asking, you know, people how they like the photos. And this was a business, this was like a business, uh, more of a business uh, group. And she wanted to use these photos for her um her online service that she was offering, and there was some, you know, comments on the on the uh, on the, that that they were like, "Oh, the images are um, over edited," or um, you know, they didn't really look like you. And she, you know, she I seen her responding saying, "Oh, these images don't look like me. Do they look like me?" You know, um, I'm getting just the kind of feedback I was getting. Uh, what do you think? Well, she said some 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 of her friends had said, "You know, oh, these images don't look like you. Don't use them or whatever." So she was trying to get feedback from the group, and. So when I was looking at, you know, I see some people who are like, hey, go ahead and no, all just use the photos. That's fine. And, you know, so I went and I looked at her page and I saw the photo. And I went and looked at her page to see what she really looked like because she didn't post a photo of what she really looked like. She just posted the photos that the photographer took and then edited. And um, so and then her profile photo, you really couldn't see much on that. So I went to her, 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 her post, I mean, or her page. And when I looked at her, I, and I did notice that, yeah. There was definitely a big difference between the um, images that the photographer had taken and edited, and what she, you know, really looked like. And and I get that, you know, people you want to put out your best, you know, best look when you, you know, having businesses and you want to put your best look out there uh, when you know you you're selling whatever you're selling yourself or your business that you're offering, and you want to have a good 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 image, but. At the same time, you really don't want to have an image that doesn't look like, especially if you're like a coach or you're doing something where people are going to be involved with you personally. And, you know, then they go to meet you and then they're like, oh, wow, this, you know, this is not the person I thought, you know, who was, um, you know, I was meeting. And and it just seems like you're, you're just overdoing it and too, it's a little too much. And like, it wasn't her fault. Uh, the photographer just happened to, you know, wanted to get, like I said, he's a photographer. He wanted to get the best image, have, you know, give, give her the best image that he could. And um, he took a great photo. The photo was great. It was a great photo. But it was the overtouch just to me, in my opinion, a little, too much. Um, and she Because it really didn't look like her when you really saw her in, in person or other photos of her. Um, so uh, that's to say that story, you know, that you don't want to overdo it. So let me, I'm going to share my screen real quick. And uh, we're gonna go here, and we're gonna go to Pick Monkey here. Got open already. All right, see a beautiful photo of me. Just took that this morning, and um, and I look at it. So usually, what I do, so here's over here is all the things that we that I use. Um, there's you know some kind of pro effects, texture effects, or editing. Touch up, touch up is what I use. Uh, some one, a lot of times when I one of my my workflow, I'll start with edit and I'll look at that and like say if I need to crop that or uh, it's crop kind of crazy now because I took it on my iPhone on my phone, but um, if I need to resize it or need to rotate it or the exposure, a lot of times I'll start with the exposure and I'll look at I go oh you know, I need to brighten it up I might brighten it up a little bit or um, I need you know 
get the shadows. Uh, I want the shadows to be richer, uh, especially if I'm doing a black and white. I want definitely those shadows to be nice and rich. Uh, but yeah, that's the easy way I, I'll, I'll start. But I'm looking at this photo. I think it's a clean photo. It's uh, The colors look great. Um, so I'm not going to go with all that. So we're just going to go back to touch up. And what I use on touch up is basically the airbrush. Uh, the airbrush tool is, uh, and like I said, depending on what you know, you're using Photoshop or if you're using, uh, let's say, um, Lightroom or something like that, or some other software. There's always, you know, some something like that. It's called either yeah, but this is called Airbrush, but it could be a different name tool that's on your um, system that you choose to use. So one of the first things I like to do, and one that is zoom in as close as possible, because again, you want to you want the the um, editing to look very normal, natural, and smooth. So you want to get zoom in really good. I would also, when I, the, the closer I get, I also make my brush smaller. <clears throat> so I do, and I'll keep zooming in a little bit more, maybe. I, I, like I said, I can see like there are, there's wrinkles in, my, in the forehead here. So I'm going to smooth some of this out. Um, and I just, you know, this simple, just wipe it, wash it through there, wipe it through there. Okay. Now I used to like just have a big, like I would just like sometimes like, I used to I would have this big like brush and just like go to a whole like spot in this. But then I noticed that was that could be a little much. So let me undo that real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna small make my brush a little smaller. And I'm just gonna just smooth it out a little bit here, now, a little bit there, over here. Mm -hmm. And like I said, if someone has wrinkles like that, and like you know, I got wrinkles in my forehead, that's fine. I'm gonna move it, move it over oh, a little bit. Here we go. Right. And I can increase the strength if I want to, or the fade, how, how much I want to be faded. Like I said, so you zoom in real quick. So then I'm looking at it, it looks good. Like I said, I don't want to get rid of all the wrinkles because that's me. And I'm going to go back to fit to zoom. I mean, zoom to fit, look at it. And okay, I'm gonna apply that. All right. And you can see that smooth, that is smooth. I definitely smoothed it out a lot. Um, you know, it's but it's just smooth. So let's just go over here. If I undid it, let's look at the difference. See, there's nearly not much difference. That's me before, and that's after. Again, so there's still a little wrinkles there, there's still, but it's still a little bit much smoother. Okay, then what I'll do, again, zoom back in. This I do this for all the clients, no matter what it, what they look like. And so, I mean, it doesn't matter, not to say what they look like, but with whatever, um, no matter age or whatever, it's just I want to, these are the areas that I always go in at and touch up. Okay, so I'll go to the eyes and I'll see his crow feet here and I'll probably hit underneath the eyes a little bit. Just want the eyes to be a little smoother. Okay, do that around there a little bit. All right, I'll go to the other eye around here, hit under here also. Smooth that out. Smooth that around the eyes a little bit. Also do the little nose, a little, a little shininess on the nose and take that a little bit, that off a little. Okay. Okay, we go in that, like that. All right. Once I got hair growing on my nose, I might have to hit that. <laughs> I, can, I can do something with that. <laughs> You know, you always think you got a close shave, but then you see something like that and say, man, I need a new razor. 
But then I'll so also go around here and I'll do the chin area. Just smooth the chin out a little bit. Again, just kind of go around there nicely. Mm -hmm. And depending on, like, and the other thing is the cheeks there, that's a little bit. And those cheekbones. Okay. And I'll zoom. Let me go underneath here real quick. Just like that. Smooth that out a little bit. Okay. Sometimes I'll go around and around the top lip. Uh, times I really, I might not just, just kind of keep it a natural look. So I'll go back to fit, to zoom to fit. Look at that. Okay. You can see it's a little bit, it's definitely smoother than what it was, the first image. I can, let me come in, zoom in a little bit more. Let's kind of get this image from here, make it look better. Um, and we're gonna apply that. Okay, still looks like me, doesn't look totally different. And I just do undo, right? So I just undid everything I just did. And I'm gonna do it again, add it. And you can see there's really not much difference um, in the image, but it is a bit but smoother. The, the, you know, I kept the crow's feet as, as much as possible. Um, and so I'm not, you know, so if I want to use that photo for, let's just say dating service um, or something like that, people wouldn't be like, oh, when they met me, they wouldn't be like, oh, he, he looked, totally looks different. He looked much younger in the photo. Um, they, you know, they, they would like they would just notice it. Oh, that's a great photo, and it look it looks really just like it, but just cleaned up, just a little bit smoother, a little bit better, what you might expect someone who went to a photographer and got a photo done. And let me so what I really want to do, I'm, I'm going to do real quick just to kind of give you an example. I'm going to use what's called skin smoother, and I'm going to zoom in again just. I'm just gonna show you what like an extreme would do. Like say like says the forehead, well, crease this size. And I want to get that. I can see I see that just totally smooth that out like that. Now let me see if it's go back, let's zoom to fit. I'll go in, zoom it in a little bit. And you can see that's totally gives me a wholly different look. It's that's totally smooth. Like say, and even if I did, like I say, the eyes around the eyes. Also, oh, make make this smaller. I'm sorry. On the eyes, man, that that totally gives me a definitely different, different look. It, it makes my face look a lot younger, like different. But we don't like I said. I don't want to do that on this photo. That's the, and I again, if that's what the um, client wants, then um. Then yeah, then we'll I'll go extreme like that. Also, if there's like stuff on, you know, people have sometimes we have birthmarks or moles on their face. Um, you don't want to remove those. You don't want to remove those, uh, but you just want to, you know, make sure you you keep those birthmarks and maybe smooth them out a little bit so they're noticeable. They still can be seen, but they're not totally taken away. Because again, like I said, when people look at their photo, when especially people that know those. Um, People, they, you know, they're going to be like, oh, what, that photo doesn't look like you. Um, or where's, where's the birthmark? Where's the mold that you usually have? Uh, why, they, why did they remove that? Um, because it might be something that um, you, you know, people recognize you as, you know, that's how they recognize you. Oh, the mold on the cheek or, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, so uh, you don't want to overdo it. You just want to do just enough so it gets nice and clean, nice and smooth. Uh, now, especially now, if you're working with models and you know, people, you know, a lot of times they have their makeup on, their makeup looks great. And again, it's the same thing. Sometimes I won't even really touch up if the face is just, you know, really made up nicely. I'll just really do the cheekbones, forehead, just kind of smooth things out so everything looks nice and even and smooth. Uh, and, and there's a bunch of different other things. So I go back to um, the share screen real quick. All right, and this one here. And you'll see over here, there's like skin smoother, shine reduction. Like, so like, I wanted to reduce the shine. Oh, also, I love this one. The um, 
high brighten. Uh, I can see I use that, like I need that in this trip photo. Again, so what I would do with this, I love tools like that. I don't know how bright I can get these eyes. My eyes, I need some visine for sure. <laughs> um, but again, you want to just kind of get in the eye. You want to zoom in as much as possible. Zoom in. Zoom in. All right. Zoom in. Zoom in. Reduce your um, size of the brush and get in there and brighten it up a little bit. And like I said, I'm not going to brighten up too much, but I just need some visine. Like I said, <laughs> doing this early in the morning, I woke up, I took this picture. I just woke up, took a shower. So I had to soap my eyes. Who knows? But anyway. So we'll look at that. We'll come down, zoom the fit. All right, I'll go in a little bit. And you can see the eyes are a little bit brighter. I'll just I'll apply that. And we'll do, um, can I apply it? Yeah. We'll undo it. See, look at the eyes, looks bright. All right. Also, if I was smiling, showing teeth, they have um, on here, they, you can do, um, Teeth brightening, teeth whitening, which is great when the people are smiling. And and some, you know, people have great smiles. But sometimes when they're on a photo, the, the, the teeth are not bright, bright white. When you catch, it might look really white in, you know, when you're in person, but you can brighten them up and, you know, make them look, those, their teeth look great also. Okay, so stop that. All right, so that is it for today. I just want to really quickly give you some real quick tips on how to edit and just smooth out your photos. So that's, you're not having photos that look totally, you know, unrealistic or not like the person that you just taken photos of. And people will, you know, will recognize their friends and, you know, when they post, cause they're gonna post them on the internet and on Instagram or whatever. And people, you know, are not gonna be like, oh, that didn't look like you, um, that kind of thing. So just, you wanna just really quickly, you know, doing a frown the forehead, around the eyes, the cheeks, around the mouth, just real tight, you know, nice, nice and smooth. Um, again, remember always you wanna, you know, make sure that you don't get rid of any real like breath marks, anything like that. Uh, you also do around the neck also if there's, you know, make that smoother, if there's more wrinkles around that, you can smooth it out a little bit. That's not a problem. But again, you don't want to totally smooth it out where it don't seem like so if their neck has a little wrinkle or something like that, you kind of want to keep the keep that there. Um, but yeah, but that's it for, for now. And I appreciate you guys tuning in and checking it out. Uh, this will be uh, recorded, so I'll be sending it um, out again. And, uh, you know, just, again, remember, you just want to touch up really nicely and smoothly, and you just really want to keep the person looking at as natural to the actual look as possible. So thank you, and keep taking great photos.